Okay, we finished the first step of the scratch bun. And now we're going to cut off the strings. And let us see how much creases we can have and how beautiful it is. Okay, we carefully cut off the string. If you find out it's very difficult to cut off, otherwise some um, sometimes if you miss some make a mistake, you will cut, you will you will ruin your your work. You will cut off the not only string but some of the textile. So you have to squeeze it and then easily to cut the strings off. By doing this way, using the strings uh, instead of the rubber bands, the creases were more delicate, not only just roughly. Then it's already from white to full of the cloud shed. You can see very beautifully, evenly blue and white spread out the whole textile. And now we're going to wash it in the water and then we're doing a second meso, which is the layered color of the one side of it. And after you rinse it in the water, we can see the blue and the white very clear. Isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, if you're satisfied by only one muscle doing this way, you can just hang it up and let it dry. Or we can follow the second step the second method which is layer colored i'm going to show you okay first of all we find out which part you want to dye the color and we fold it again but folding this because the the scarf is so weight so you have to fold it carefully and find out which side of the edges are matched together like this they're almost matched evenly together okay I fold in this because we're doing the second part of the layered color. So we have to fold it here. And this technique needs a lot of practice. So 
if you find it difficult just do it once again okay and then we soothe the textile and measure the, how much you want to do in the layer the color for me today for example I'm doing the halfway here to doing the halfway here which it is the lower part it would be the layer the color and the remainder of this would be a squish bond and uh, you hold it tightly and we now going to do the layer the color into the tank okay first of all just remember, because 100% uh, silk scarf is so, so fragile, don't, don't just twist it a lot, but you have to gently of your motion, of your touching it. And first of all, we, we dip into the liquid slowly. bit by bit, second by second, slowly and when you into the liquid you have to use another hand to spread out the creases don't make it fold it up and remember you're still going down slowly into the liquid and check it out. Once you got creases, open it. Don't make it stick on together. Otherwise, you have a final. You will find a thin layer, thin line after you're doing this. And slowly going down into the halfway of your scarf. Oh. This really depends on how much you want to do in the layer of the color of your textile. Some people do it whole way, but for me, I prefer the half way of it. Sometimes one of a third, it will be fine. Okay, I haven't halfway, so I dip a little bit more. And slow your motion. Don't pull it, but you have to spread it like this way, using your finger to spread your textile. Make sure the liquid going to every strain evenly. Sometimes you feel like your textile is dancing in the liquid, making a run. Okay, after you go into the halfway of this, we check it already halfway and then you slowly put it out slowly, slowly and keep spreading, soothing, keep spreading, soothing and slowly taking up. This layer the color the scale you may do in two times, three times, even four times. Because the color will getting darker, the repetition of you that then you will have find the color getting dark. Spread it out. Evenly, don't make any creases, don't make it fold it up. Okay, and then squeeze out, squeeze out all the extra liquid. Remember, it's a squeeze out. Don't twist it out. Otherwise, you'll ruin your work. Okay, then we can see. OK, 
and we can see the beautiful green, beautiful green at the first. And then after the oxygen doing the radar, you will see the color green to blue. To wave it. Check it. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to do it two times for this one. So later we come back and check and finally it work. Now we already finished the uh, layer color. I dyed it three times. The time length will be three minutes, two minutes, and the last one it will be one minute. So squeeze out the extra liquid as usual. And we let it red out in the air. As you can see here, the lower part still can see the dark green here. That's because the, the indigo hasn't fully transformed into the blue color. Here. So after the old, the green turn to the blue and we have to rinse it in the water and then let it dry in the air and after that you can use it and you got your beautiful work as well. All right, let us rinse in the water. We got our beautiful work here. Okay. This is the demonstration today using 100% silk, silk scarf and using two kinds of muscle which is the scratch bun at the first and the second is the layered color. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you got any further questions, please leave your message at our Facebook fan pages or you can log on and follow us on the YouTube channel. And good luck you guys. Hope everything is going finally and stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Bye.